So how are we going to add a synth part? Well, if we had a real synth, we could plug it into our audio interface and record it just like we did the bass guitar. But I don't have a real synth, so why don't I use a virtual one? So what is a virtual instrument or a software instrument? Well, we already used a really simple one, the Resample-O-Matic 5000. We used it to play our drum samples in a previous video. In Reaper, there are two main technologies here. There's VST, which stands for Virtual Studio Technology, and that's from a company called Steinberg, and they invented Cubase and Nuendo, and they developed this format so that they could extend the functionality of their software. So they license that out to developers, and developers can then make virtual software instruments or virtual plugins like EQs or compressors or reverbs that can work with their software. And Reaper licenses that, and so anything that's available in VST format will work in Reaper. If you're on a Mac, you also have Apple's version of that, which is called Audio Units, and that is for Mac only. But they're basically the same thing. A lot of plugins, a lot of these instruments are available in VST or Audio Unit, and the big difference is on the programming end, so we don't really need to worry about that too much. We just need to know that it works on the hardware we have. The little I at the end of some of them stands for instrument, so you see VSTI or AUI. That just means instrument. Now, Reaper does come with a VST synth called ReSynth, and it's simple and flexible, but it's not great at getting sounds quickly. But the good news is that there are lots of software synths available. Some are free, and some cost a lot of money. Uh, we're going to look at a free one called Tal Noisemaker. So, Let's go to the TAL website, which is just tal-software.com. We're going to go to the Products tab, and we're going to scroll down. They, they actually have lots of stuff available. They have their commercial software, and then they also have a lot of free products available. But we're going to look at this synth right here. We're just going to click through on that, TAL Noisemaker. And we have our download links available. So we have the 32 or 64 bit. Which version do I use? I'm assuming you're going to know whether or not to download the Mac or the PC version, but this 32 and 64 bit thing comes up all the time these days. Basically, you use the bit number that matches the version of Reaper that you're running. So if you downloaded a 64 bit version of Reaper, download a 64 bit version of this plugin. If you're running the 32 bit version of Reaper, then run the 32 bit version of this plugin. There's no difference in sound quality. It's just a difference in computer architecture. So the 32-bit versions don't sound any different than the 64-bit versions. Now, I suggest Mac users grab the audio units version because the VST one is not compatible with the latest version of Mac OS. So audio units ones are, so go there. Obviously, Windows users grab your VSTs. And the next part is a little different depending on whether you're using a Mac or a PC. Okay, I'm on my Mac now, and I've downloaded the 64-bit version of the Audio Units plugin because I know I'm running a 64-bit version of Reaper. So just making sure those things match is the most important part of that. Now, I'm going to hide Firefox, and we're going to go to the Finder. And under the Go menu, we need to go to our Downloads. And there is the zip file. So I'm going to double-click that to extract it. And that's going to bring up this thing, Tal Noisemaker x64.component. And that is our actual audio units plugin. That is our virtual instrument. And I'm just going to move that over to the desktop. You can see it looks kind of like a piece of Lego or something. Now, what do we need to do? Where do we put that? Because it's not going to just work sitting on the desktop. There's actually a very specific place it needs to go. And this is something you should probably write down or save this somewhere so that you can easily get to this folder. So where we're going to go, we're going to go back to the Go menu. And we need to go to Computer. Then we need to go to our main hard drive. Whatever the hard drive where your system is located, it's probably called Macintosh HD or something like that. In my case, it's RoboBunny Attack Mac. Double click on that, go inside. We're looking for the library folder. After that, we're looking for audio. And in the audio folder, we're looking for plugins. And you can see down here, we're getting just deeper and deeper into our 
Macintosh hard drive. So, but once we're in this plugins folder, we're looking for the components folder. And this is where all of the audio units, plugins, virtual instruments go. So I'm going to double click in there. And I'm just going to drag the Tal Noise Maker over to this folder. Now I do need to authenticate and tell the computer that yes, I have the authority to install this software. So now that that's done, it should be ready to use. I'm going to go over to Reaper and Reaper is not going to know that that plugin's there until it restarts. So I'm just going to quit Reaper. Yep. Let's save whatever changes I made. Let's go back, open it up again. And as it's going in this part here, you can see it's scanning through all the plugins to make sure it knows what's there. So I'm just going to open up Yorkshire Lady because that's what's selected here. And we will scroll down to the bottom and we're going to make sure that we actually install this in the right place. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to make a new track by double clicking in the track area here or command T and I'm going to name it synth. And under the effects button here is going to bring up the effects browser and I'm actually already on instruments and boom, there it is under AUI tell Togu audio line tell noise maker. So if you're on all plugins, you'll end up with this long list of things to quickly narrow it down. You just click on instruments and it'll just bring up any of the audio units or VST instruments that are installed on your computer. So we're going to take this, we're going to double click and boom, it's installed properly. So now we're ready to start making noise with Tal Noisemaker. Okay, so I've downloaded the 64-bit version of Tal Noisemaker because I'm running a 64-bit version of Reaper. And now I'm just going to go to my Downloads folder. Windows E will bring up the File Explorer. And I'm going to my Downloads. And here is the zip file that we downloaded. And I'm going to double click on that. And it's going to show me inside that it's tal-noisemaker.dll. And this is the virtual instrument. I'm now just going to copy that to my desktop and it's not going to do anything on my desktop. It's actually got to be in a very specific place so the Reaper knows that it's there. And this next set of steps you should write down or keep track of somewhere because anytime you want to install a VST plugin that does not come with an installer, you'll have to do this manually. Many VST plugins actually do come with an installer and will automatically put it in the right place for you. But here we go. So we need to go to our C drive and then program files and in program files we go all the way down to vst plugins and this is the folder that reaper is looking to for any sort of virtual instruments or vst effects so we're just going to copy the tal noisemaker from our desktop into this folder click continue here now tal noisemaker is in the right place reaper is going to see it hopefully Let's double check that we did all of this correctly. So I'm going to go to Reaper now and we're going to make a new track by just double clicking in here. I'm going to call it synth and I'm going to click on the effects button here to bring up our effects window. And this is going to show us all the plugins we have. Now that's all plugins. I actually was on instruments. I should go back to that and I don't see it here. So why is that? Well, Reaper was actually open when we did that installation, so it hasn't checked since it started up. So we can tell Reaper to, hey, go go check for some new plugins now, because we just installed some. And that's just under the effects menu here. We just go to scan for new plugins. And we see right here that it actually tells us there's something new. And it's the Tal Noisemaker plugin. So Reaper's seeing it, it's in the right spot. Now this new thing will go away later on, but because it's a VSTi, it will show up under this instruments filter here. So here it is. I'm going to double click and there it is. It is working as it should be. If it doesn't show up there, you can try restarting Reaper. If it's still not there after restarting, you need to double check that you did put it in the right directory and that Reaper is looking to that directory. And for that, we actually quickly need to go to the preferences in Reaper, which is just control P. And on the left hand pane here, we actually need to go all the way to the bottom. Mine's already there, but if you were on general or 
anything else over here, you need to get all the way down to VST. And this is the location that Reaper is looking for VST plugins. And there are actually two locations here. I can tell that because these addresses start with a C, which tells me it's going to the C drive. And then it's looking in program files and then VST plugins. And it's also going to a second place, a C drive, program files, common files, VST3. And that's for VST3 plugins, which we can talk about another time. But most of the time, we're going to look in this section right here. If it's a VST3, you're going to know it's a VST3. It's going to tell you the VST3 plugin. But looking back over at this location here, this is exactly where we installed our Tal Noisemaker. And in fact, I can just show you that right here. I'll move this over to the side, and I'm going to bring up File Explorer right side by side. I brought that up, by the way, by just hitting Windows E. So we're going to look in the C drive, Program Files, VST Plugins. So we can just double click on C drive, and Program Files, scroll all the way down to get to VST Plugins, and this is where the Tal Noisemaker is. Now, if you follow this path and Tal Noisemaker is not there, you either need to move Tal Noisemaker there or add that path to this by just adding, you know, C colon backslash wherever you happen to put it. It's probably better to just stick with the defaults. But now that uh, everything's up and running and working, we're ready to start making some noise.